Hello, hello everyone. It's time for a new art video. And since the witch door, my webcomic is gonna have a cap chapter break soon, and I need to draw something extra for it, I thought I'd make it a video. <laughs> so, the latest chapter introduced a new character, uh, Cassius Sederholm, who is a famous mentalist slash illusionist. Um, uh, Yosha doesn't think too highly of him, but ends up, ends up changing his mind and asks Cass to have brunch with him. Um, we don't see the brunch scene in the comic, so I decided to draw that as an extra. Um, this was really tricky to draw for some reason. Uh, what you see here is actually a second try at this piece. I had inked and colored the first version, but it just looked messy. So the first thing I did this time was that I drew borders onto the canvas and made it into a comic panel, sort of. I feel like I'm better at composing comic panels than, uh, I don't know, open canvases. So I imagined I was sketching a comic panel. I did struggle with this one too, as you can see I did three sketches, but it does look much better than the first one. The easiest thing would have been to draw them from the side, but that's also a little bit boring. And I wanted to have a view from outside, you'll see later why. But since I can never think of enough things to talk about for the length of the whole video, I asked on Tumblr if anyone had questions related to these two and or the witch door. And I did get a few questions, so let's go through them now. Um, moon and star... Uh, <laughs> I'm so bad with with usernames, but anyway, they asked, can you give Yossi a sparkly eyes too for the love? And, uh, n no, that would be very out of character, <laughs> unless, hmm, maybe if his apprentice did something he was really proud of, then he would maybe, uh, I don't know. Anyway, moving on, uh, Cicely, or Cicely, mm, asked, uh, does every witch door... <laughs> does every witch have their own guide, like Yosia's owl? Uh, if so, what is Cassius's? And no, the owl isn't Yosia's. It's... It just guides him to the right place in the spirit realm. If he needs to go somewhere else, he'll ask a different spirit. Uh, the owl in chapter 5 is Lapimpel or Lapland owl in English, or better known as uh, Great Grey Owl. Uh, it took Yosia's spirit to Lapland to talk with the ghosts there, and then it took him back to Turku in the south. So witches, witches who can communicate with spirits can seek help from the spirit guides, so Cassius could do that too, but Sophia, for example, can't. Mm, yum, yum, yum. Uh, <laughs> uh, they asked, I remember back in Transfusions when it came out that Mark was asexual and it caused a whole little debate about how you are described as sexuality and his and Dulan's own potential queerness. Uh, did that influence you in writing The Witch Door? As an ace character, um, as an ace reader, I think both scenes are great, by the way. Uh, thank you very much. Um, in The Witch Door, Josia explains his ace and arrow ness pretty much like you are explained his friends asexuality in transfusions so i don't know if that influenced me in that sense mm, the character the characters explain it how they would 
when they don't know the correct terms. Um, I think in Joa's case people were concerned that the readers would take Joa's description as something from a dictionary and so they wanted me to clarify that in the comments. When it comes to Josia, a lot of time has gone by since that scene in Transfusions and so people know more about asexuality and a romance, though definitely not enough. And I feel like witch door readers are more mature, which is kind of funny when Transfusions is the one with mature content, um, but so they maybe know and expect other others to know more about these things and don't assume these webcomics are uh, sex ed or mental health pamphlets. So yeah, and the final fi final question is more general question from Sarasade and they ask what's your thought process behind character designs. Um, well, uh, sometimes I get inspired by something I see somewhere <laughs> and draw a character based on that and then figure out a role for them. Um, Sophia is this sort of a character. Um, other times I have the role ready and then need to give an appearance for them, for the char character. And there are many things to take into consideration, like where are they from, do they care about their appearance, do I have other characters who look like this already, uh, do I really need another OC with a bowl cut, uh, how do the characters looks present their status, could the character be of a minority? Ani, could you maybe make a non-white character for a change? And then this spir spirals into how to, how to write a non-white character, etc. Uh, for Cassius, who's one of the newer characters, he had to be very different from Josia. And uh, he's very popular, he's famous. Uh, he's very open and polished. Uh, he has, he's blonde. Um, I don't have many blonde OCs. And later, later, that shaped into this idea of a traditional idea of Finnish beauty, this as aesthetic we often call uh, elovena. From that came the idea that this, that his witch outfit is. A national costume and because I have a thing for the costume of South Ostrobothnia I made his one with some modifications. When I think of how uh, Cassius presents himself I think of <laughs> I think of Finnish TV hosts and I think of this stereotype of Finland Swedes which is that they are rich and beautiful and happy all the time. Uh, I also decided to make Cassius's mother a Finland Swede. So, yeah. <laughs> um, but he also has this sad side that we maybe get a glimpse of in the comic because I'm a sucker for those kind of characters. <laughs> Um, hmm, what else? I think I've talked more about character creation in a previous video. If I can remember which one, I will link it in a card. Um, but yeah, that's that's all the questions I got on Tumblr. So thank you very much for for all of you who asked me things. Oh yeah. In case you were wondering, uh, Cassius is eating a healthy salmon salad here and Josia is having some sautéed reindeer 
which is a very traditional dish from Lapland. Oh yeah, by the way, here you see what, what I'm doing with the window view. There are some women behind the window uh, spotting cassis in the restaurant. And of course they are fans. <laughs> This video is almost done and this drawing is almost done, so thank you for watching it. Um, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me, if you want to see my vlogs, uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!